Mr. Davies' Daily Dose of Science. If this is your first time learning with us, welcome. If you've been learning a little more every day, welcome back. Hello everyone, it's Mr. Davies, back with your Daily Dose of Science. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Hope you're all doing well and you're feeling healthy. For today in science, we're going to start off a little bit differently than we have been before. Typically, we've been doing our weather observations on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that will continue. However, since this week we started our terrariums, we're also going to be doing terrarium observations on Tuesdays and Thursdays as we continue through the rest of the year. I'd like to start today by sharing a couple of different ideas on how you can do your terrarium observation. And however you choose to do this is up to you. I would encourage you to do it on your own. However, turning it in probably won't be necessary unless you feel like you really need to. Either way, I think it's something that you can look forward to and really notice some progression as we go through time. But okay, so in previous years, we always drew it in our journal. And we started at the top with a circle that made the bottle shape and measured it to, to fill in what we could see. And we allowed for some responses. What I've started working on last night was an idea, um, and I don't know how good it is, but I grabbed a two liter bottle image from the internet and a ruler image and lined them up to create a, a, a JPEG. Now, if you're technically savvy, this might work for you. If not, this might be too challenging, and there are other options, so bear with me, please. We're going to want to start by editing the photo using the Paint program. Now, I do hope you realize one of the first things you need to do is take a look at your terrarium. Okay? Um, also, you're, you're going to need to measure any growth when growth starts to occur. You need to realize that you can put measurements on the actual container itself, and, and that can help you out moving forward. But take a look at it, because that's making observations. That's what it's all about. Then we're going to compare what you notice over the course of time. If you do take that image and open it in the paint program, <clears throat> you can start making some small changes and then save the image after you've made those changes. So for example, uh, most of us started with some gravel down in the bottom of our terrarium. And then, after about an inch of gravel, notice the ruler on the right hand side, uh, we applied some dirt. Now, I'm trying to do this quickly, so bear with me. There was about another inch or so of dirt. Taking a look today, there's not a lot of growth going on because we just started these yesterday. However, if there are some seeds visible, then you're certainly going to want to uh, note that. Maybe they're mostly visible up on the top of the dirt. Or they're poking through. If you tried a corn kernel, that, that might be a different color. 
if you tried some uh, different beans from a soup mix, they, they might be a, another color. And if you notice that there's any moisture um, collecting toward the top of your terrarium, that might look like little dots of water, uh, certainly include that because that's important. That's part of the water cycle happening inside your terrarium. Either way, when you feel as if what's on your screen matches what's happening in your terrarium, um, then you're going to want to save the image. Um, I would suggest you save it as the date. Okay. Um, and then keep those pictures um, somewhere on your desktop where you can get to them. Because you're going to want to open up a Word document. And then, oops, and then include that in your document. So you would have your date at the top. You would have your drawing. And then leave yourself some space to say what you noticed. Maybe my terrarium isn't growing yet, yada, yada, yada. A uh, separate option, if that's too tech savvy for you, <laughs> perhaps you would rather just take a picture of your terrarium. Put that into a Word document. Start with the date at the top. Um, this one was the one that was already measured out and numbered. So you can just take a picture of it. And again, don't forget to write a couple lines at the bottom. Today I noticed it wasn't really growing yet because we just planted it yesterday or, or what have you. A uh, third option, if you did not <clears throat> put the numbering on your terrarium, you can simply hold a ruler, a measuring device next to it and take a picture. Um, again, you would have to take a picture and a new document every Tuesday and Thursday to document the growth. Today I noticed, say what you noticed. All right, so today is your first terrarium observation. If you're able to do that, please go ahead and make your first observation for your terrarium today. If not, if you're still gathering supplies, that's fine. You do have till the end of the week. Um, please do not go out and purchase anything. This terrarium project is designed for you to use things that, that are around the house. You might have to look. Um, I know one person in class said, oh, I don't have any seeds. And, and then as they walked around their property, they found little plants here and there that they could put in their terrarium. So that, that's certainly acceptable. As far as today in science, I would like you to read. Please realize that you do have two assignments. Um, they are both in Canvas. One is watching and creating the terrarium. Uh, after you watch that video, make sure you click Submit and uh, the microscope exercise. Let's go ahead and take a look at Canvas and our resources so you know what I'm talking about here. I always start at the Mr. Davies Science page. It makes things so much easier. Of course, if you're finding a different path, that's fine. Um, either way, you're going to want to get to Canvas. Your canvas pretty much looks like this at this point. You do have your daily instructional video module at the top, your resources right below that. Don't forget to click on the assignment tab. You do have two assignments each week. This week, your assignments would include, first off, the instructional video. That's right here, the weekly assignment video. And then the microscope quiz. Today I'd like to take a look at that assignment. As you take a look at that assignment, there are a couple of resources available to you. Um, three of them, to be exact. The first one at the top is how to use a microscope. This is a video. And that's the one I'd like you to take a look at today. 
The first part of the video is all about the parts of a microscope, how to use a microscope and set it up. And then the second part of that is actual images of microscopic stuff. <laughs> Everything from the eye of a, a bumblebee to amoebas swimming around in po pond water. So certainly take some time to check out that video today. Tomorrow we'll take a look at the reader. And later in the week, we'll take a look at the PowerPoint and guide you through some of the questions. Okay, so those are your responsibilities and expectations for this week and for today. I hope that helps. For today, just take a look at that video. We can wait to answer the questions till later in the week. If you have any questions at this point moving forward, I will conduct a Zoom session today at one o'clock. So tune in, use the link in your email, and you'll, you'll be admitted as soon as I see you in the waiting room. As always, please stay healthy, stay safe, wash your hands frequently, stay away from others, especially large groups of people. Listen to the adults around you. We're all trying to get through this together. Looks like it's getting nice outside today. Maybe get outside, but remember, there's still bad things out there, so wash your hands when you get home. Don't touch your face. Until next time, this is Mr. Davies. Have a great day and keep on learning. See you at one o'clock for our Zoom session. Have a great day, guys. Bye. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you think there is more you can learn, then click subscribe or consider coming back again tomorrow. The information, likenesses, and opinions in this video are the intellectual property of Mr. Mike Davies. While Mr. Davies does refer to other works owned by others, those resources are either parts of a public school district curriculum or they are readily available through open forums on the internet. Mr. Davies does offer his thanks and appreciation to any entity he has chosen to refer to or gather sound bites or clips from to emphasize his lessons. Mr. Davies is currently a professional member of the teaching staff for Central Dolphin School District in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania and is making, producing, and publishing these videos for the benefit of his students and other students during the current lockdown crisis. Mr. Davies does not make claim to all of the ideas and resources referenced in his videos. However, he does claim responsibility and rights to his likeness, opinions, and the academic content of these videos. He does not grant permission for any entity to copy or duplicate any portion of this video or any of his videos for private or personal gain.